We are here at the Imperial Center for Arts and Sciences. We're in the art gallery area of the Imperial Center. This loom happens to be over 300 years old and is representative of Rocky Mount's textile industry past. We are here with Maureen Daly, who is the director here of the Cultural Arts Division of Rocky Mount Parks and Recreation. Uh, she is here to talk a little bit about the facility and also about how the Google Twin Counties campaign and Google's ultra high speed internet project could benefit uh, her operations as well as the general Rocky Mount area. Maureen, would you uh, take a few minutes to introduce yourself and uh, some of the things that we do here at the Imperial Center? Well, it's my pleasure to be here and to address you. As Ken said, this is the Imperial Center for the Arts and Sciences. It is North Carolina's most complex and I would say intriguing restoration project ever. We house a number of artifacts, both art and museum quality. We offer nine galleries, a theater, an education building, and a children's museum and science center here at the Imperial Center. Now on the art gallery side, the theater performing arts side, I would have to suggest that obviously a lot of what we do is active and personal and based right here. But we've had a lot of discussions lately and a lot of intrigue in what the Google Twin Counties Initiative could do to help us. And it's really very simple. One of our main missions here, after 50 years of giving the community of Rocky Mount the very best in the visual and the performing arts, we want to reach even more. And that's exactly what ultra high speed broadband would help us do. We can reach more people farther within our community and even beyond. We're talking about finding educational initiatives in order to help prepare our students in arts education. We continue to see that taken away from our school budgets. We are a great resource for reestablishing the importance of arts in our everyday lives. Our students are here on a daily basis in the Da Vinci program, but we also need the capacity to teach them about worlds larger than just Rocky Mount and art larger than what we can house here, even in this beautiful facility. We talk about virtual museums. How can people in our community benefit from the extraordinary international, national, and local artists that bring their works here to the Imperial Center? Well, a virtual museum would be one way that we can actually help those residents that are beyond our own boundaries enjoy what we have here to offer in this world-class facility. And of course, well, ultra broadband helps the city. It just brings more jobs, more people, more focus. It enables us to take the standards that we currently operate with and take them up even another level. It only gets better when we have the Google Twin Counties Initiative come here home to Rocky Mount. Well, thank you very much, Maureen, for that information. And if people want to submit their nomination on behalf of Rocky Mount, they can visit googletwincounties.com and uh, fill out their application. Now, they don't have much time. The deadline is Friday, March 26th, just a couple of days away. And thank you very much for your time. We greatly appreciate it. Absolutely.